Hi guys, welcome. So today it's still a little Easter mood. So let's make a beautiful Easter basket cake. So let's get started. For the basket, I'm gonna use like a light brown color. I already have bowl that has red. I just used it for something. And this is the carrot butter cake. Remember, you guys, we made the carrot cake. All of this in. I'm just taking some buttercream, adding some brown color to it. I mixed it, but I don't think I'm very happy with that color i'm gonna stick the cake board to the base add some buttercream to the base now this we bake it in a silicon mold we bake every layer separate and sometimes the cake overflows so i'm just gonna cut these edges otherwise they're gonna interfere with my cake decoration and they're gonna peep out so i add that then i use the serrated basket tip it's rounded on both the side both the sides i'm gonna use the same orange piping bag make a border and fill it in you guys know how we stack cakes here now smoothen the buttercream inside add the next layer same thing use the same border i'm gonna use the same uh same color buttercream outside as well so I'm not too worried about anything coming out. It's a thin tip, so I'm just going to use the spatula to put more buttercream inside. I flatten this. And then you put the third layer. It's a basket cake, so it's going to be nicer if it's tall. I'm going to use the spatula trick today. I'm not covering it with my piping bag. I'm just going to dump all the buttercream on the top and then I'm going to cover the sides by taking little, little buttercream from the top. So I just scrape it and then add it to the sides. Scrape it and add it to the sides. Same thing, go all the way around. If you need extra buttercream, you can just add it on the top and then use that as a reserve straighten the edges it's not really required in this cake but i'm still gonna do it here i'm just scoring the cake i want to give it the shape of a basket so i want to make it rounded from the bottom so i'm gonna score it and then i'm just gonna cut it at an angle then we take all the extras out this step is not a hundred percent necessary it wouldn't really make much of a difference if you do this or not you can save yourself and just skip this step but i'm just doing it because you know okay so then i'm gonna add some buttercream over there smoothen it i'm angulating it a little bit inwards and now it's time i'm actually not very happy with the color of the buttercream so i melted some chocolate buttercream I melted it a little longer so it's a little bit runny and I added it to the main buttercream so what's this going to do is of course it's going to give it a thick a uh, darker color and a better consistency I'm going to empty everything that's in the piping bag as well don't forget then you mix it around I'm really happy with the color it looks like the cane basket color I'm going to load the piping bag with the same serrated tip. Check how it's coming out. I like the consistency. It's not too soft, not too hard. Still maintains shape. So we're going to, of course, first we have to clean up the edges. I forgot to do that before while smoothing the sides. Then you pull a straight line from the top to the bottom of the cake. See, now the curve doesn't even matter because you just have to go straight. Now you go across you leave enough space that is equal to the thickness of the piping tip okay and then see i made a mistake i didn't clean the tip that's why the edges are not visible it's all blunt we need sharp ridges for the basket look pull a straight line down and 
you start from the middle from that gap the horizontal length should be enough to fill the gap go over the vertical one and go a little beyond the vertical line same thing you go down you just have to fill in the gaps so you start from the gap go over and go a little over the gap the distance that you're going over the gap has to be equal to the distance that of the gap that you're filling it in keep going keep going try and keep it nice and straight for the grip you cut the bag and then twist it around so that you don't have to hold the bag from the back end it'll be easier on your wrist now for the last one you see the i got the vertical one perfect it's perfect thickness it covers both the sides there's nothing left but for the overlapping side you just have to join it don't worry about it but don't miss the overlap okay that's the basket weave look it looks really nice now you take the shark teeth tip that's what i like to call it put it in the bag and then you fill it with the same buttercream okay we are going to do the top border cut the bag no air bubbles position the cake i'm sorry i forgot to record this but i really want to show it to you guys so i'm going to take it off this is the rope border that's how it's going to look in the end i'm just going taking everything off like turning the camera as i forgot to press the record button sorry smoothen the edges you start and you just go round and round you have to move the table simultaneously if you if there's an air bubble you start again from where you left go round and round and then end you can end it inside as well you don't need to come out like I, how i did now i just took a gardening wire and i'm bending it i want to make a handle for it so that's how i want it to go don't worry about it there's a lot of trial and error over here the height is perfect and it looks good now let's see how i can match the color tried putting some frosting i think i'm going to go with the criss cross pattern but the buttercream is making everything too heavy I don't think this is sustainable. Gosh, that's Okay, I don't think that's going to work. I'm just going to take it out. Yeah, it's not going to work. I have two big holes. I took a day's break because I had to think what I'm going to do. So I straightened the wire and I'm taking fondant. I'm taking some brown fondant and white fondant. I'm adding some CMC powder. You can add that's basically just cellulose it's going to give the fondant some structure and it's going to help it harden and set just kneading both of them together i'm not adding anything else i want to match it to the brown color i'm going to make it into a long rope okay and let's check the shape of it let's measure the cake Okay, it's around six inches. So I cut the wire into a six inch long, and I'm gonna just embed the wire into the fondant. I'm gonna cover it up, cover it up completely. No green can be seen, please. I haven't added any solution or anything to it. I'm just putting the wire inside and mixing the fondant so that the wire gives the fondant strength and yeah if you don't want to use the wire you can just dry the fondant overnight with cmc and it and shape it and put it to dry and it's going to be ready the next morning so here it is okay the two big holes that i had from the previous trial i'm just going to put the handle right there okay it looks like it's staying in place i'm going to take two sheets of parchment paper cut it into nice small squares 
Yeah, this is for what do you think should go inside the basket? Taking some white buttercream, adding a little bit of color on the side. This is the petal, the small petal tip. That's the flower nail. I'm going to add a little bit of frosting so that the parchment square sticks on it. And then I'm going to start typing some flowers. Doesn't matter. You can do a mixed shape, whatever you like. You have to turn the nail simultaneously and pipe. Keep the thinner pointy edge of the piping tip facing outwards. That is because the petal is nice and thin at the edge, right? So that is why we need a thin edge to mimic the thin edge of the petal. Please clean your piping tip. I haven't. So these are buttercream flowers. I'm putting them on pieces of like small squares of parchment paper. Make sure they're not touching each other. You can put everything in a tray. You can turn the tip around. You can do a mix of colors. So you can do, you can make the flowers with one solid color. So squiggly. Take it out, put it all to dry. This is the curved petal tip. I'm making some yellow. So the benefit of the curved petal tip is it uh, it makes the flower more natural looking, especially the rose. You see how the tip is curved, so it automatically makes the flower curved like you can see it over here this is a little trick i don't have a bigger nail so i just took a nail and i put a, a jar lid on top so that's how i made the nail wider so i clean the tip and then i'm gonna start a rose you start with a little bud and then you just go overlapping you see how the tip automatically is curved so it looks like a beautiful it gives it a very realistic look you just keep going around and go make like a rainbow like a little arch and you see how it looks like the rose is opening up this one is a really beautiful tip but just make sure that you're working with a clean tip okay see I made a wider base so I was able to make a bigger flower. Then we add some pink. I'm making flower with some pastel, pastel, whatever you call it, colors. And that way it's gonna give the Easter look. Please don't make the colors too harsh. Again, I'm sorry, I forgot to record, press the record button. But so once the flowers are frozen for 10 minutes, you can peel them off the parchment paper and put it on the cake however you want it. You can arrange the flowers however you want it. I would suggest using three colors so you can alternate between three colors. Otherwise, if it's just two, you, you may end up having two similar colors closer to each other. And then I have some mini eggs, some Cadbury mini eggs. I'm going to add them to the center, to the side, wherever you want it fill in the gaps and now we're making some leaves I'm using the leaf tip you have to start from a V like a junction between two flowers or something it should look like it is coming it is emerging from underneath the flower with the same tip you can make multiple kinds of leaves it's just how you're holding the tip and how you're moving it. it looks so beautiful so you have it looks very it gives a very nature vibe because you have brown from the cane basket and then you have the pastel pastel colors and the green from the leaves please be careful that you're not using very very harsh and bright colors please keep the colors a little light 
otherwise it's gonna ruin the look like also you have to make sure that it's contrasting the look of the basket and everything the main thing is that you have to get your basket weave right the border can be manipulated with the help of flowers this step i don't think it is necessary but i just wanted to try and see how it looks so i did it this is i'm just making like a little green vine that's going around the basket and just cover it up from the sides and i'm making little flower buds on it it's i'm telling you this step is not necessary you may or may not like the look of it with the green and flowers on the on the handle but it's totally up to you doesn't look that bad but it depends i'm not a big fan of it i think i should have just left it the way it was but it's okay still beautiful so that's your beautiful easter basket cake with little eggs and lots of flowers bye